Today is Sunday, February 4, 2018. This great year slider came in because of bleeding in the tongue and the tongue ulcers. Now it's day 10 of treatment. As you can see, the tongue is much better. The two sides which had ulcerated, which had ulcerated, is uh, healing quite well, open bigger. Then I'm trying to video inside. Ah, you can see the tongue now. The two sides, the new new tongue tissue is coming out. That, so overall, there is much progress. So what we need is to what we need is to hand feed, uh, string feed, pellets uh, three times or four times a day. Dirty pellets better. Now let me see closer. The lights is it put towards the sunlight. Ah, uh, you can see the tongue. Much better, much better now. Uh, he's not so so angry when we open his mouth. Last time he didn't like it because it was painful. So we are given two injections of uh, B3 plus PrEP and fluid SC subcutaneous. And that was about on day one and day three. So so you can see the progress is much better now. I put it down. Now we sun it. So prepare we prepare the pellets to feed him. Feed her actually. Then prepare. Then, then the uh, owner has agreed to put here for ten days. And uh, we still need strange feeding even going going home until the tongue is fully recovered. For this one, this red ear slider pass out. Black, black uh, pinau. So it was uh, pushed back in three days ago, and there was a first string suture, a first string suture on the on the inner area. So we will put it in for three days. And uh, hand feed, you can see the suture on the inner area, or cloaca area. And uh, it's also it's losing weight. So today is the third day. We will bring, we will take out the suture. All this must be, must be syringe fed. Today, February 4th, 2018, we have two inpatients. This 25 year old had not been eating for several weeks and suffered from tongue ulcers when he came in. She came in 10 days ago because the owner was compla complaining about bleeding in the mouth or vomiting blood. So, so far, the progress. Satisfactory, and this fellow has pinna prolapse and gangrene on the penis.